Welcome to Southeast Super League TV. I am your host, Tristan Blacker, joined today by President of Basketball Operations, Dale Taylor. Thank you. And the sexy man to my right, GM of the Hornets, Braden Venning. <laughs> I, uh, I should actually give Dale a, a new plug. Yeah, As the new GM of the Beaconsfield Mustangs. Yeah, actually. Uh, I... The struggling Mustangs. <laughs> well, I, I think before we get into the games, let's touch on that. Because, uh, unfortunately, Jimmy Langford had to step aside yeah, uh, as, the, as the GM for the Mustangs. And, Dale, you've put your hand up to take care of him for the remainder of the season. Yeah, I, I thought it um, would be a good idea to, to jump in and, and lend, lend the guys a bit of a hand. And um, so far, some, some pretty positive signs. We've got a pretty good roster, I feel. And... Um, yeah, capable yeah. of winning some games. Yeah, I think it was just a bit unfortunate with um, you know uh, you know James's commitments outside of basketball, and then you know a few guys from the Mustangs being away and injured and, and whatnot. Because I know when we you know essentially started this competition this season, they were up there as like one of the you know top three sides. Yeah, we talked about it at the start. Uh, we thought that that the Mustangs probably had one of the best best rosters yeah. uh, in Super League. So um, it's just unfortunate, you know, a couple of guys overseas and and injured so um just makes it makes it a bit tough yeah uh, to win games yeah well that's it i mean you know you can only only play with the players you have but um we'll, we'll touch on on your game uh, in a minute but uh moving into the first game bray don yes, uh, was the the beric sharks uh losing 45 to the druin dragons 51. yeah and they were right in it yeah they were right in it till the last couple of minutes, and then they choked on a big old dragon scale. <laughs> they did, they did. Though they, they were without uh, with without Mackay Holland, uh, so you know that that's that's a big that's loss. A, it is a massive loss. Mac is in uh, in NZ at the moment, but uh, yeah, only only going down by by six points. Which is another yeah. another tough game for the Sharks. Yeah, and I'm just looking at the stats here. I mean, um, Lee Belton didn't really put up a Lee Belton game. Like we're, no. we're sort of used to him putting up, you know, 20 plus points. Yep. Uh, and he's had a bit of a quiet one, and, and sort of no one else really picked up the slack by the look of it. I mean, looks like Jenko had a had a decent game with, with 10, but um, aside from that, no one in double figures. Yeah, it was pretty quiet. Trent Lee was relatively quiet by his standards, uh, finishing with the eight, six, and four. And you know, if, if I had that stat line for me, I'd be absolutely stoked. But we know what he's you know used to what he's used to doing mm. on the court. So it was a pretty quiet one from him. Um, Harris Wazilko was pretty good. He had nine and eight, uh, battling pretty hard against his, his brother, Casey. Uh, but I think yeah. Case got the chockies with that one, finishing with 17 and four for the, for the Dragons, yeah. And a Player of the Week nomination. Yeah, yeah for sure, oh, for sure. Cheeky. Um, you know what was good to see? What's that? Our, uh, your point guard from the, from the Youth League side, Packing the Warriors. Very aggressive. Matt Darcy was just a beast. Very, very aggressive. He, he told me straight up, if Lee is keep stepping off and going, I'm, I'm just going to go at him. <laughs> and he did. And he did. He did a number of times. So, And there was I, a lot of feeling in the game. Like, they were blowing. Yeah, they, I mean, two best mates having a crack, yeah. crack at each other on the then court. And both Basilco brothers going at each other. Yeah, yeah, and then like Aaron Miles just yapping. Oh, so. he's chirpy. Trent, yeah. Trent likes to chirp up as well. Yeah, so no, it was an all-round pretty good game uh, for, for, mm. for the opening, opening round. But um, Dragons. If they can play a, like some solid basketball, put 40 minutes together, can they shake it up? Can they sneak into finals and, and do some damage? Or yeah, but they're not going to. Oh look, they could scrape into finals. I think right now there's four teams on the same record of four yeah. and four. Um, could they sneak into finals? Yeah, if they get in, they're just going to be smashed. You reckon? Yeah. Finish that fourth take on probably the Pacers or the Silverbacks. Pacers will just tear them apart. Yeah. Do you think it's yeah? No, I would probably agree. Yeah. Um, you know that they, they do have a, a relatively good side, but unless they're going to string some some games together and you know be competitive, I, I don't think seeing so, you know, yeah, playing well, finals. Yeah, they'll definitely be in the hunt, but I think they've got a pretty good roster if you look at it. I mean, if you look at each one of the, the players on their roster, it's a it's a pretty decent team. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It is, but it, I think it's. I think that individuality sneaks into the Dragons game a little bit. Um, like you do, you do have a, you know, a great list, but you know Burko to me should be doing a lot more than six and nine. He, he yeah. should be having Paul Phillip yeah. numbers, in, well, in my opinion. He's not entering the key. No, he's still outside. And I don't know, as a GM, how do you make him get in there? Like he's the tallest guy in the league by quite a margin. Yeah, just wants to shoot threes, and yeah. 
He shot one of eight for the game. Yeah, one of three from the three-point line. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you know, stranger things have happened. But yeah, yeah. I think um, I, I can't see him doing much more than in fourth, unfortunately, at, yeah. at the very best. But moving on, uh, on to our next game. Uh, second game was the Nary Warren Silverbacks versus your Officer Hornets. Yep. Happy with that one? Um, Back on the Hornets bandwagon. You're only, and you guys Back did on. it pretty easy. Uh, the Silverbacks, 67. Uh, Officer Hornets, 79. Getting up by 13 points. Yeah. We actually had our full team here. Yep. And we actually played a lot of team ball. We stopped. Like, we didn't play defense that much, but we were there occasionally. That's a and common just, theme, though, oh, isn't I, it? Look, I actually... I'd probably somewhat disagree with you. I thought you defensively... Years were a oh, lot look, better, better. Than, better than the last couple yeah. of weeks. The, the, the two things that stood out for me was Hornets playing some some decent defense and Jeff Reed only putting up seven shots. Yeah, uh, he was injured though. Yeah. So he sat off for a lot of it, and when he was on, he wasn't that effective. Yeah, I, I think, think a car. Yeah, I think I think that's the difference. If you know Jeff Reed injured or not, is only putting up seven shots. Yeah. You know yeah, they're, they're, they're they're gonna they're gonna have a bit of an issue. That's a problem. Yeah. But I mean, like, when you look at Paul Phillips, I mean, he's picked up the slack. He's got 28 and 10. Yeah. Decent, decent outing for yeah. him. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a quiet 28. Like, I don't know. When, I, when I saw the numbers. Yeah, yeah. I, know, the, I, that's I wouldn't the mind it. I wouldn't mind it. I was very surprised by <laughs> the stat line at the end. But having to his credit, he did hit some threes late, which really helps out. Yeah. Yeah, well, he had, yeah, he finished with a couple. Mm. Um, it's, it's funny I say that, like I'd call out Jeff Reed to say you need to have more than, than seven shots, and, and I stand by it. But then you look at his stat line, who was injured with a calf, 12 points, five rebounds, three assists, one steal. So yeah. Just going under the radar a little bit, considering he's injured. But I think, although the, the Silverbacks went down, I still think they're going to be a solid contributor oh, come definitely. finals time. And I think it's attributed by some of these kids. You know, Jackson Gray and Neam Westaway, they, they're just working really hard for him. I don't know how he's done it. He's, he's just put together, like, the perfect side of, of, of decent role players. He, yeah. Everyone's got their role and they fit in really well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and it shows, you know, with their record. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I now, think missing Nick Lang and Logan Mills was big for them because that's, yeah. that's their That's run. their run and carry, yeah. Yeah, and that gives you your Jeff Reeds, those open shots in transition. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. But moving on to your Hornets, uh, yeah. not to not to discredit them because you were really good. Yeah. Our old mate Louis Newman, twenty-five and twelve, had yeah. a really good game. Yeah, did did really well. That's that's the difference in him running the floor. He was running and actually playing a bit of two-way ball and yeah. getting the reward from that because I lost count of the amount of lobs we threw on a break to him. Yeah. Well, I think he made one, but hey, we're putting it up there. <laughs> He'd go out and he, he did have a very very big Saturday yeah. night. I heard. But, yeah. Um, oh yeah, he was rusty. But even uh, Noah Christensen as well. Like he's he has been the only guy that has really played defense for you guys yeah. this season. He's been really solid this season. S solid lockdown defender, but he's uh, he's continued and had twelve points as well, which is yeah. which is solid. He's had a few good offensive nights as well. If you if you look back yeah. to yeah. his games, I think he's had like season. maybe an eighteen point game or a sixteen point. Yeah, like, he's he's quietly one of your on. better offensive he players, is, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And he's just he's aggressive. Yeah, he gets his shot, he'll take it. Um, Cal McNiff's a worry. Yeah, zero and... Uh, When's the only donut. guy he didn't score for us? Oh. Fat donut. <laughs> did he, he, also, did he, he get a player of the week? He, got a play, yeah, he won a player of the week, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's unfortunate. <laughs> there oh. you go. But, um, no, look, I, I think I think that was the, the loss the Silverbacks needed to have, yeah. so to speak. You know, missing a few players, look, a couple undermanned. of injuries, yeah. undermanned. Yeah. For you guys, what happens over the next couple of weeks? If we continue playing that brand of ball, we'll be all right. That keeps you guys in the hunt. Well, we're, we're yeah. four and four. We're equal third. I think yeah. we're sitting maybe down fifth or sixth. Yeah. But the same record. If we if we can win the next couple of games, we'll be right. And um, Andy Noller is the big one in that. He had 13, six and five. Yeah. Plus two steals. Yeah, he's starting it's to a really, find a yeah. little bit of form now because yeah. he he can... Well, I've seen him play um, youth you know, a couple of times this year and he can just shoot the living heck out of the ball. Yeah. We haven't seen that yet really in Super yeah. League. So. Early on, he was starting to hit him. He's, he's lost his range a little bit, yeah. but he's just taking smarter shots now and when they come to him, he's going to hit the open ones, no him. problem. Yeah. And once his confidence up, that's when we take him off the drive. Yeah. He's really effective there. Well, uh, interesting to see how you guys go over the next couple of weeks. 
I'm, I'm tipping finals. I'm back on yeah. the bandwagon. You're back on it? Yeah. Did you jump off? As a GM, I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But no, nah, I'm good. All right. Well, we'll hold on. it. We're on. Moving to, uh, moving to the third game. It was Dale Taylor's Beaconsfield Mustangs winning 85 to Cam Andre's Packenham Pirates 83. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty chuffed to get the win out of that. I don't want you to be modest or cut this down really quickly. I want you to give me a breakdown of the last play of this game. Well, the last play, the scores are tied. Uh, we made a mistake. We, we should have called the timeout. Yep. We didn't. Uh, That's so, a GM error yeah. there. <laughs> My bad. Um, Wait for it. <laughs> we, ran the ball, we ran the ball up the floor quickly. I had a lane. I, I ran through. I, I made a horrendous pass to H. He somehow grabbed it. He's did you knock someone over? I don't think I did. No. Because right. I, 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 I heard there was a contentious call <laughs> at the end. I think that might have been H. All right. All right. So, uh, I, 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 and when we talk about H, we talk about Hayden Davey, who's played his first game as a replacement player. So he, he's in Very for, handy for the next replacement couple of weeks. Player. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, that will continue. Uh, H, H grabbed the, the terrible pass, uh, made a drive in, got quadruple teamed, uh, which left a few of us open. Who did it leave open? Well, I got the shot on the baseline. Ooh. Yep. Put it in, so I went, we win. Yep. It was um, good. You hit the game winner. Yeah. Yeah, just really, really sell that. Let him know. Yeah. You are the reason. Well, yeah, I don't think I need, it. I didn't need to let him know anything because uh, you're on the sidelines giving him an earful. <laughs> That's not what I do. That's not hit the a, type of guy a, I am. Hit a game winner in your own league. That's um, really good. Well done. Is that? Oh, well. <laughs> what, what, no, what is happening here? Like, no, it was, uh, it was actually a cracking game to... Not, you, we, we love putting Dale on the spot, but it was, it was a, an absolutely fantastic game of basketball, both by the Pirates and the Mustangs. Uh, the Pirates were very much undermanned with yeah. big JT missing and, and Toppy as well. So yeah. yeah, they were missing both their bigs, but I mean, you, you wouldn't, really, wouldn't really know it. I mean, Aaron, Aaron's a big presence inside and um, they didn't really need to play that big brand of basketball. Like they, yeah. they play the small game pretty well too. Yeah. Well, if yeah. you've got Michael Johns playing at the five, that is a good time. Yeah, oh, he can do he's it. He's a very skilled player. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I think his stat line proves it too. 21, 5, 3, and 3. That's just, yeah. that's just a day out. So, uh, and I mean, it was, a, it was an all round, you know, contribution from the Pirates. You know, Ben Brain finished with 15 and 6. Uh, Michael Johns, like I said, 21. Ethan Marshall, 22. And you were concerned that he didn't miss at one point there, was it? He? he just kind of lit it up. So, oh. <laughs> it was getting ridiculous. Like, <laughs> yeah. Between him and Ben Brain, they were just like lighting the net on fire. It was crazy at one right. point. Both yeah. shot over fifty percent from three. Yeah, it was it was nuts. Um, and yeah, like Ben Brain early on in that game, it was just like if you didn't have a hand up, he was it was three points mm. rolling down. It's funny because you, you look at what Ben has done throughout this season. He's had some really big games yeah. and knocked some really big threes. And I was having a bit of a chat to him uh, at the end of the game about you know if he's going to play Super League next year and what his representative commitments are. And he said, I've never played representative basketball yeah. before. He's just he's, a domestic player. And he's a baller. Yeah, he's, he's done really he well. He can shoot, shoot it like nothing. <laughs> shoot like shower out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big old but, shower. But uh, <laughs> moving on to the Mustangs win. Um, leading all scorers uh, was Tommy Welsh, the 85-year-old. Um, done, done really well. Uh, 23, 6, 1 and 1. And a it was so slick too. Like he's just as smooth as you like. He just he just goes down, sort of cruises around, gets his twenty three points, and you, you sort of don't even know it. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's a really really talented basketball player, and um, yeah, he 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 really carried the scoring load for us. Yeah, he did well. And I mean, it was it was kind of a uh, an all round effort again, you know, from from another team because you finished with fifteen five four two and one. Uh, Aaron had fifteen and six. Banger. Had 15 and nine, you know, everyone was contributing. Uh, Pedro finished with seven assists. So I think, again, like, I think that was probably why it was the match of the round. You know, yeah. both teams just worked really hard. Everyone was contributing yeah. and, well, I, yeah. and it was an awesome finish. Thanks Ped to you. Pedro, Pedro had probably his best game in a Mustangs uniform, I feel. He, yeah. he, he, was, he was crazy. Yeah. Um, aggressive to the basket. Um, banger, another, another really solid game. I reckon yeah. he's one of the, the league's better big men. 
Um, yeah, he's a workhorse. Yeah, I mean, he he does exactly what his nickname is. Like he, he yeah. just gets in there and he's a workhorse. Bangs in there, yeah. yeah, yeah. Banger just bangs. Banger bangs. Loves a good bang bang. Yeah, love the fella. <laughs> and he's got that tat. Yeah, he's That's, got a tat now. That's he's scary. Woo, sexy scary. boy. Now, um, moving on to our last game of Z round, we yeah. had the Gembrook Pacers winning seventy three to the Lakeside Vikings, 65. Yeah, really spoiled Dilly Lark's birthday. Yeah, had to come really down spoiled. for the for the late night game on his birthday. Yep. yep. And the Pacers paid no respect yeah. to him. Probably wished he stayed in bed. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, no, hot take though. Yeah. The Pacers do not need Nancy Wiedemann. Oh, he plays for this team, doesn't he? Yeah. He wasn't there. Yep. No, he was uh, gallivanting around the world somewhere. Yeah. With his girlfriend. Yep. Fighting lady boys in Bali. Go <laughs> with Gail Sue. Yeah. Now, uh, sorry about that. Uh, host, uh, people were <laughs> rambling on a little bit. But uh, the, the Pacers led the way by, uh, from Cody Fredrickson. 25 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists and 1 steal. Very efficient numbers. 11 of 16 from the field. He did a lot of few little spin moves too, Cody. Very pretty. It was. Very pretty. Just stepped through the lane with ease. Had layups. Yeah. He sort of, he, he looked like he was playing more of his game as well. Like, mm. sort of in previous weeks, you sort of think that he's, he's maybe got a bit more in the tank that yeah. he can give the team if it was needed and, and yeah. you know, it was certainly needed well, last Sunday night. Well, I think he probably plays off the little off the ball a little bit more when um, Nancy's around. You yeah. know, he's, he's pretty dominant with the ball. So, having him away, it allowed yeah. Cody to really, you know, be that floor general. Yeah, and um, we've been waiting for this explosion from him. It's come. Yeah. And it's a really good time for it to come. Yeah. And as much as I, I hate to say it, um, our old mate Simo. Yeah. He <laughs> actually uh, had himself a game again. Yeah, he had another really good game. He finished Five of 11 from deep. Yeah. He was letting it fly in the first half. Yeah. I reckon yeah. he probably he got up most of his shots in the first yeah. half. No conscience. Yeah. Just letting him go. Letting him go. He finished with 21, 4 and 4. Uh, two mm. steals as well. And a block. That, yeah. that to me says that he played defense, which which is weird. We must have a, that doesn't happen. Yeah, There's well, maybe he was controlling. waving to someone and, and someone <laughs> shot it yeah. in his hands. Yeah. Like, unfortunate turn of events, but yeah. he got a block. Um, he's also going to get a nomination for Gold Logie. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, on our old mate Mitch Barry. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. He just went down yeah. like nothing. Um, like, Mitch Mitch went to post up a little bit. And there was there was a, a small breeze that come through, and Simo went flying and uh, well, hit the deck, hit so the deck hard, hard and... like a deck chair. <laughs> off a guy just <sighs> yeah. So that was a veteran move. That's what it was. Based off our favourite actress, Simo's new nickname is Lisa McCune. Yeah, I love Gold Lisa. Logie winner. Oh, Lisa, Lisa. Let's talk about Blue Heel. <laughs> I have not watched that for a while, but that is a we'll, classic we'll show. Get, we'll get on that. We'll get on that. But uh, moving over to the Vikings, uh, they had a relatively quiet night by their standards. Uh, again, it was oh, Aussie Shelley led the way in the scoring for them, finishing with 16, 3 and 2. Uh, did really well. For four from five from the three point 80% line. 80% from the shoe. Kids, 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 kids work in the shoe. Yeah. 80%. Yeah. Woo! And even though um, like he's kind of in his sister's shadow because Jazz was here, oh, yes. he still played really well. You yeah. Know? I was, I was getting into him. <laughs> you were. Austin. Uh, yeah, Austin. <laughs> I like Austin. Uh, and then Mike Godfrey, 13 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, had a really good game. Dill Larkin, 15, 6 and 4. Uh, Gregory Wise had a decent game as well. Like 7, 7, 2 and 2. I like him. We like him here at Super League. He's a good fella. Yeah, lovely man. Yeah. That's it for these guys. I mean, what, what happens from here? You know, is it is is there anyone that's going to stop the Pacers run to the finals? I don't think so. I don't think you can. The, yeah. Well, the thing is, when when Norman's away, you've yeah. got you got Cody that steps up. If Cody's not going to step up, then you've got Nathan Malloy who can step up, or Dill Donnelly who can step up, or yeah. Simo, twenty one yeah. points. Yeah. You know, like they just Lisa. got so many. Yeah. <laughs> They got so many scoring options. It's going to make them really hard to stop. And they, right. and you classify Bailey Beck as the you know your seventh rounder. He's fantastic. But he's just his awareness. You know, being such a such a fantastic football player, 
You know, he's got strong hands. And, and Cody and I were actually talking about it tonight. Like he, he finishes really well under the basket because he can take a knock, you know, and yeah. because he's still strong, he can finish it off. And like he had, he had six, five, three, and two. Yeah, and that's, that's a game. What, you know, that's, and that's you don't expect that out of your last pick. Yeah, and he he's just been flying massively under the radar. So huge. I'll Still. probably agree with you. I, I think I think the Silverbacks could do it, but everything would have to go right. You need Jeffrey to drop 30. You need Paul to have 25 and 25, and you need the kids to just be running the floor. But um, yeah, yeah, two, two different think, brands of basketball yeah, right there as it, well. It is. It Whoever is. does it better on the night, maybe. Um, is it the Silverbacks that we would assume that will be playing the Pacers? For me, it is, yeah. yeah. I, I, can't, I can't really see any other team um, sneaking in there. Maybe maybe the Vikings on a good night. Yeah, They need um, they need Larkin to have a big one. They have, yeah. but they're missing Brad Zalik as well, who's yeah. a solid player. So a know, lot of run, he, he comes back in. But I think, yeah, I think probably the Silverbacks paces at this stage. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, like... I think my to say the Hornets, yeah. I, I think my Hornets can shake it up, <laughs> but it, it really depends which team turns up on the day. Yeah. I think yeah. the same thing happens for the Vikes, yeah. the same thing for the Silverbacks, same thing for the Dragons. There is a lot of teams in the mix. I think Jembrook, you can lock in. Yep. They're in. Like, they're not going to lose in the semi. They're going to the grand final. And I think there's a very high possibility that they win the grand final by 20 plus points. Yeah. That's that's a big call. Don't get me wrong, and I really Isn't don't like just... Natalie Wiedemann, but like he's. And that's frustrating when you got. Um, I just don't like the bloke. Yeah, you've got Neil and, and Simo on the same team. Yeah, he's a bad one. Lisa yeah. Pidich. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think that wraps us up for for the elite competition. I would like to thank you, Dale, thank you, uh, the game winner, uh, for joining us. Um, that was a Braden Venning, you're as beautiful as always. I know. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, we'll be back after uh, a note from our sponsors. Hey, have mine. <laughs> Lonsdale Street Auto Electrics, proud sponsor of the Southeast Super League Domestic Competition. Located at 15 Park Drive in Dandenong, Marty Sanchez and the boys will be able to take care of all your auto electric needs. They have a wide range of services and systems on offer including GPS tracking for your car, CCTV security systems, and more importantly, with summer just around the corner, they'll be able to sort out your car's air conditioning and get your car nice and cool in time for summer. So go down and see Lonsdale Street Auto Electrics, 15 Park Drive, Dandenong, proud sponsor of the Southeast Super League Domestic Competition. And we're back to cover the domestic side of Southeast Super League. I'm joined again by Dale Taylor and Braden Venning. I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here. I'm we're excited. Here. Because we're very excited to have you. We love Thanks. you. Moving into the first game, we had the Bayside Reapers, 36, going down to the Dandy Ducks, 43. This was actually a, pr a pretty decent game, uh, considering your guys were undermanned just a little bit. Yeah, we've got half our team out with hand injuries at the moment. <laughs> um, people just doing all sorts of injuries, injuries. to their hands. A couple of um, Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just a it's an issue. We've got yeah, sort of three people out at the moment, so it made it made it pretty hard. Uh, H came back with with a sort of fifty percent finger. Yep. Um, mm. But we uh, we just played like dogs. Yeah. Well, I, I, look, I, I don't think so. I think he's played pretty well, considering I know the, the Ducks were, were missing a couple, but they, they still had, had a, a core group there, and you only went down by seven. That's the closest mm. anyone's gotten to, to the Dandy Ducks. Uh, but, yeah, they, they go through to the next round undefeated again. Really? Yeah, undefeated. Is that Drizzy's team? That is Drizzy's team. My boy Joshy Kaz? Yeah, he wasn't there. I love, he's a sweetheart. Yeah, he I had, love that boy. He had a bloke shoot four threes on him on the Thursday night in domestic, so we haven't he's, seen him since. He just pulled so, the pin. Yeah, he's disappeared. So yeah. I, hope, I hope he's well at home. But uh, just, just to, to cover those stats uh, for this game, Joey Nativo, your mate, you guys were yeah, head to head for, for most of the game. He finished with 24, 4, 2, and 3. Really good game. Uh, oh, and a dude that I want to have a massive shout out to is uh, Trav Blackney. He's amazing. He is amazing. He is a really good player. I haven't seen a lot of him before Super League, 
but just hustles. This guy is just unreal. He finished with 13, 9, 2, and 5 steals. Just what? constantly... That's, that 5 steals is big. Yeah, just harassing everyone defensively. Yeah. Really solid player. That was that was one thing we, we spoke about before the game was, you know, we knew that they had some really good defenders on the team and we needed to fake passes to make passes and, yeah, and, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. We talked about it before the game and then opened the game with three turnovers. Was, because of him. <laughs> and it, was, it was him. That's not ideal. It's, it's less than ideal. Yeah. But, but full cool credit stuff. to him, he, he is that sort of a defender and, and he, he goes hard at it. Yeah. And, uh, and a really lovely man off the court too. Very lovely. Lovely, lovely man. <laughs> lovely. Now moving over to the Bayside Reapers. Uh, Joshy Saunders. Had a, had a better game. He's, he's been a little quiet the last couple of weeks. But Signs he, of life. The other week he was disgusting. This week uh, <laughs> this week he's actually pretty good. So, you know, I mean, he had 14 points leading leading all scorers on our team um, and, and pulled down five rebounds. But for the most part, you know, we all sort of struggled to, to score the ball against their, you know, they're a pretty, deep, pretty decent defensive team. They just like throw a hand all the time. They you know, make you second guess your shooting and, and that's what they do really well outside of their transition game. That's what they do. They just harass and... And, and, yeah. and they tackled really well on Tuesday as well, I thought. <laughs> they, they were really good on the tackle. No, yeah, pretty physical. Yeah, it was a physical game. Yeah. yeah. Um, how do you feel as a GM not taking the most shots on your team? Yeah, no, I, 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 I like it. It's good. Nah. If I'm, if I'm GM in a domestic every, team, every, I'm, every, I'm shooting 40 every, plus shots a game. Every shot goes through you. That is me. Yep. So that's why I put my hand up to GM. It's your given right. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't jam the elite comp, but um, next season, lock me in. I'm taking 40 plus shots a game. <laughs> yeah, and, and on a totally unrelated note, uh, Josh Thorns has been fired from the Bayside Reapers. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you heard it here first. Don't breaking, take more shots. Breaking news. Moving on to the second game, we had the, the Kui Koalas winning 44 to the Cardinia Crocs 41. You weren't here, but this no. was an absolute cracker. The uh, the Crocs were down by about 22 points. Ooh. Enter Dan Stowe. Yeah, big Danny Stowe. I oh, know that, though. Yeah. He, he I think it was it four threes. I know four it was... in a row. He's finished with 12 points, and yeah. all of them in in about the space of three. He minutes. went 100 yeah. percent from deep. Yeah, yeah. He, and they That's... and they were deep. They were deep. He was unreal to watch. I remember him doing that when he was in a Warriors That's, uniform. That's yeah, it does. doesn't really yeah. surprise me. Yeah, no, he was uh, another really good game. Like it was, it was a bit of a concern to see them get out to that distance. And it happened really early, too. Really early, yeah. really quickly. Uh, but then they just you know pegged it back, pegged it back, and they made a game of it in the last ten minutes. So yeah, actually, actually pretty exciting watching that second half. And I think um, Stowey's Stowey's like got, he's got to take more shots. Yeah, that's yeah. his problem. Like his his only problem is that he doesn't shoot enough. That's that's yeah. crazy, isn't it? Because he's only put up six for the game. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. If, he, if he shoots another four, he's eight from eight. <laughs> You're right, and that's a big game. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, full credit to him for coming back, but I feel like that's probably one that they let slip between the cracks. I thought that they they, yeah. probably, they probably should have won that game, but, um, yeah, koalas, what can you say? Am yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm looking through the stats here. Riley Lanting, one point, yeah, was, uh, only uh, one free throw attempt. Was there a tech in here or...? Or is this a typo? That, this is uh, this is correct. One point, one foul shot. Yeah, one one yeah. foul shot. Yeah, someone's maybe been maybe he got the and one and they waved oh, he off the did, basket. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I like but it. To, to, to touch on Riley, he was he was probably he was pretty quiet. That's uh, by, by his standards. Zero. What? Come on. One one point zero boards, two assists. That is poo. Let him know. I know. I know for a fact, Riley Lanting, you are better than that. Oh, that is poopy. The, the dad chat. The yeah, dad chat. like I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Uh, not to not to take away from the koalas because they had a really solid game, really good team effort. Uh, Jesse Henderson was huge yet again. Have yeah, a look Four. at that. 15 Ooh. rebounds. Isn't that yeah. crazy? 14, 14 and 15. 15. He's a monster. Solid, solid. That's, that's large. Solid game, and and the rest of the boys all contributed as well. Hey, is so. my boy Beggy in there? Beggy's in there. I used to play with Beggy. He's, He's a good fella. He is a very, very lovely man. He is. Yeah. Lovely, Ripping ver dude. Very lovely man. Ripping dude. Now moving on to the next game, which was another another close one, another cracker. It was Andy Miller's Wizards winning 49 
uh, downing Liam Black as Marion Old Matador's 45. Ooh, top that. And what a game, yeah. It was just insane. Um, Robert Middleton. Rob Middleton. <laughs> Nine just, trays. Just unbelievable. Yeah. That's, nine that's from, a performance. You'd, nine you'd from, like him. He's actually got a really nice haircut and a nice beard. Oh, I like him. He does. He does. He, he finished. Beautiful man. No, he's, beautiful. He's, he's a very beautiful man. I like him. Nine it. from 16 from the three-point line. He shot the ball at 56% yeah, from the three-point line. Nuts. He should have shot more threes. Yeah, well, they were trying to get it to him. I mean, you look at the stat line. Outside of that, um, Liam scored seven points. Let's let's touch on that's, that's a, look at his stat like seven five rebounds seven assists five steals. Yeah, well, I mean you just pass it to Rob. <laughs> yeah, you're Easy. right. It's, it's yeah. like cheating. <laughs> you're right, but still, that's a that's a decent stat line yeah. for a guy who I don't value as a player. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean uh, Hayden Melson out with injury. Uh, and, yeah, and didn't missing he break Leon. his wrist or yeah, break yeah. his yeah. wrist. Yeah, and Leon Stapley missing for whatever reason. Um, I think he was still angry from Thursday night. Yeah, okay. That's because he's got red hair. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the uh, to the with the Wizards, uh, Aaron Wilson yet again just demoralising teams. Nineteen and fifteen. Yeah, it's another not, huge it's game not for fair, him. Really, is it on on the opposition? Has he had any dunks in the league so far? I don't think he's got up and he dunk, but he can yeah. he can get up. Very athletic man. And a, and a shout out to Andy Miller, the GM. Had a pretty good game with 13 points as well. Prince of Pakenham. <laughs> he is the Prince of Pakenham. What's happening with Morty? Zero point one rebound, one steal. That's a decent game. Yep. He does his thing. <sighs> with a guy with a beard like that, he needs to be doing more. I think you're I... on notice. <laughs> <laughs> Do more. You have a beautiful yeah. beard. Make the most of it. Take advantage. <laughs> Calling them all out today, aren't you? Mate. Well, that, um, that, that win keeps the Wizards' season alive. They're, if they if they win next week, that pretty much guarantees them a spot. Yeah, the well, they, they play the Penguins next week. Yeah, so they're going to have that's a, a huge game. some loot cracker <laughs> yeah, of a game. Yeah. So it'll High be, stakes in that one. I think, yeah, if, if they can, can keep, you know, Patch and, and Liam off the boards, um, they're going to go a long way to, to winning that one. Yeah. Aren't they? So, yeah. Uh, what about the Matadors? Because... Hayden Melson's been huge for them. Yeah, he's a big part you know, of that team and he's going to be out for out. finals. Does that just mean that Rob Start has to shoot more and Leon has to shoot more? I think so. Like They, they can potentially take up the slack, um, but but having that, that driving option from H, they're, yeah. they're going to sorely miss that, I think. And, and, and like, I mean, in all seriousness, everyone knows that I like to rib my little brother as much as I can, but going off his stats alone in that game, like he, he played quite well, but he shot the ball at 25%, and he's not an outside shooter, so he, he needs to really finish a lot more around to, the basket, yeah. because that could have easily have been you know, 15, 5, 7, and 5, and then that stat line looks huge, and they get the win, do you know yeah. what I mean? So, so blokes like that yeah, need to probably to step up and girl. yeah correct he actually grows a pair and <laughs> gets in there and takes a hit oh guys <laughs> i was actually being serious i was that. actually being serious but um... i am being serious <laughs> <laughs> well let's let's just leave it at that one um moving on to the next game we had the nanagoon bulldogs taking on the bears bears the bears the be from the emerald <laughs> the bears from emerald <laughs> Now, um, Bulldogs got up, another win. And got up pretty comfortably. Um, the, the Bears missing missing a few players. They're missing, I think, Stu and, and, and Flanners. Flanners. Yeah, so they're two big, big, big loss. Yep. Um, and, and the Bulldogs just used them as a doormat. Good. I like to see two of my favourite blondes, Coops and uh, Big Alex. Yep. Big Al getting it done. Well, Alex... Alex, for the most part, has been relatively quiet this season. So really? that, that's surprising. Yeah, the last last couple of weeks, he's he's really he's picked, picked it up, up a notch, hasn't he? Finishing yeah, he has. with 16, 10, 2, 4, and one. So really, and a double double. And a double double. And uh, Coop that. Coop finishing with sixteen and six, uh, strutting in um, after getting out of his new ride. Ooh. He's pretty happy with that one. Yeah, he's yeah his missus let him drive the car down, which is good. <laughs> he went all of seven from deep. 
Yeah, that's, that's not like that's him. That's the second time he's done that, actually. I think we said maybe really? maybe the other week that he, yeah, that he right. did the same that, thing. That's not a stat I would expect from Coops. No, I he think can. he did the same thing just the other week and scored 14 points or something still. So That's, that's uh, handy then that he's finding other ways to score. Yeah. He's obviously getting to the free throw line a lot, which is good. Yeah, he's been attacking a lot. He's been attacking the basket a lot. Well, based off the other if, night. Yeah, you can if you outside yeah. shots, not dropping, you might as well attack the paint and see what you can do. Get in there. And I think uh, probably a shout out to their GM as well, Carl Turkin. And he played a fantastic game. He finished with four points, but he had 11 boards, two assists. But I think just his leadership over the last month has been a big part in them, you know, securing a few wins. I'm really proud of Carl. Yeah, no, so am I. He's done a really good job. I don't know him, but I like him. <laughs> He's a good man. Lovely man as well. Justin Temby, five boards. Yeah. Uh, only with three points. But, um, but he's someone that can really light it up. Uh, given the opportunity and and to contribute with five rebounds, I thought was really good for them as well. Yeah, and um, moving over to the Bears, Luke Schmader hit some a couple of really really deep threes, but I uh, I was pretty impressed with Jordan Campos. Yeah, he he had a solid game. He finished with nine and thirteen. He's one of those effort um, guys, isn't he? Just runs the floor, works really hard for his team, yeah. and yeah, finishing with that and you know one assist and three steals and a block as well. So. They're probably done, aren't they? For, oh, yeah. For, really? for finals for the they're Bears, done. yeah. Yeah, they're done. I, I think that they they wouldn't be able to make it from here. I think no. the only teams that can make the fourth spot here from here are the Reapers, the Toucans, and the Wizards. I think. And the Wizards. I yeah. want the Toucans in. Yeah. Just because I like their uniforms. <laughs> yeah, they got they got Reese's it. team, yeah. And yeah. And congratulations like to Reese, by the way. He's just had a yeah, baby. Yeah, we're going to touch oh. on that. That worked out really well. The Toucans had the bye on Tuesday night. And, um, and yeah, Reese is, is a dad for the first time, having a little boy. Yeah. So congratulations to you, Reese. Top shelf effort. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our last game. The Wednesday morning game. Yeah, the Wednesday morning special. This this was actually a better game than I thought it was going to be. I, I completely agree with you. It was the Tainong Tornadoes uh, 59 going down to the Philly Island Penguins 78. But that scoreline of 19 points doesn't really give you a true indication of the game because it really blew out probably the last, what, six or seven minutes. Yeah, uh, the, that they the, pulled it was it sort on. of neck and neck there for a while. And, and even with the Tornadoes in front by, for, by yeah. 10 points or something at one point. Yeah, and, and as much as it pains me to say it, Joel Donnelly was a was a big reason for why the uh, why Ta uh, Tai Nong were were leading the way. He finished with thirty eight points, five rebounds, two assists, and a steal. That's he a was game. he was scorching. Yeah, How he... did he have thirty eight points and two assists? If I'm having thirty eight, I'm not passing the ball. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that just proves he was. Uh, it was, it was well, doing it all. He's top Beggy's record of 29 shots with 31. Uh, but he shot the ball at like 42% and he's done he's done a really good job. That's he cool. went cold for a while too. So like yeah. he was missing a lot of shots there. Yeah. Um, but just made up for it by, by hitting sort of four or five well, threes in a row. And yeah. Just going bizarre. If I'm reading this right, they had four players. That's yep. correct. Yeah, correct. So he's carried a massive scoring load there and stepped up for his team when they really needed it. Yeah. And, and like, I mean, he, he, Braden, he was someone that obviously scored the majority of their points, but these other three dudes were just fantastic to watch. Jimmy Butler had nine and 11. Uh, Dicey, the Dice man, he didn't score. He had 10 rebounds, but just his one percenters and yeah, you know, he was his really second good. efforts were fantastic. The only bloke with a block there. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, d he did well. And, and Jeremy Hunter as well had had a, had a really good game with 12, 2, 5 and 3. But again, just his you know, his harassment in defence and they the four of them played absolutely brilliant together. Yeah, yeah, I, I liked it. It was good. Uh, and, and I think the Penguins really struggled to, to find some continuity in their game. At least for, early, yeah. Yeah, for the most part. And they ended up running away with it, as, as we said before. Uh, Liam Malcolm was probably he their was, best player. He was player. a quiet achiever. He, he just made all the easy buckets and, and found his way to 27-11 like really quick. Yeah, they they had, and I mean they 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 smashed them on the boards. You know, there was four players there as, with as double hope. digits. Uh, Patch was really good. Yeah. Ryland Dunn hit some really nice shots. Uh, Ingy on the boards as well. I think he Ingy, had the... Ingy was like amazing on the rebounds. He had ten rebounds in the first half, and six of them were offensive boards. <laughs> that, it was, it that's right. Knowing Ingy, he's a good fella, and yeah. he just goes in hard as all get out. Yeah, well, he fouled out, so that yeah, was... that also does not surprise me at all. Like, <laughs> and and a shout out to our, our mate JP as well, Johnny Parker. He had a, had a really good game as well. He did, yeah, seven points and three assists, and 
He sort of just makes some smart decisions. He's really savvy with the ball, I think. Yeah. Hmm. If those guys finish a little better under the basket, John Parker's three assists could have easily been ten, I think. Yeah. He, uh, he just he, he knows where to find them. You know, running along that baseline. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. A stat that I found interesting: they made one three for the game. Yeah, there you go. One. Yeah. If, the hot sauce. Big hot sauce. Love, yeah. love the guy. But if I'm out of seven against, tries, he was stone cold too. Yeah, but poor they're playing fella. against four guys. Spread the court. Stone cold the threes. Yeah, and that's probably yeah. one thing you don't get a lot unless the hot sauce is on shooting threes. There's not a lot yeah. of other outside shooters. Yeah, penguins don't have much. Nah. That's right. I know. I know Malcolm can hit him. Yeah. Yeah, he can hit him from time he's, to time. He's just primarily playing inside. He's been just running that baseline. Yeah. Yeah. Now uh, that kind of wraps us up for for the domestic round. We've got a big couple of weeks coming up for domestic basketball. Yeah, huge. there's so many slots undecided. Yeah. Well, I think that that battle for fourth. I mean, we've got we've got the buy coming up, which sort of um, rules us out of putting another win on the board. And Potentially, that, that leaves yeah. the door open for for both the two cans and the wizards to come in and, and take fourth. And place. and who, like your personal opinion, who gets it? I think. Probably us. I think we get it. Yeah. Well, because only because the Wizards have to defeat the Penguins. The Penguins. Yep. I'm not actually sure who the two cans play, but they need to win and win by a large margin to up yeah. their percentage. Yeah, they do. They're, they're I think they're five or six percent behind with the worst percentage in like the top five or six. So yeah, that's going to make it hard. It's going to make it hard. But having said that, the Wizards are in form. If they, they can knock off the Penguins, oh, well, just, then they're in. That's uh, pretty much. You just don't brilliant. know what Wizards yeah, yeah. team rolls up. You yeah. know, they're very, they're very hot and cold. So yeah, you're right. If 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 they turn it on, then they could easily win. Would you but say I'll... that's all on Aaron? No, no, they've nah, they've, they've got some good yeah. all-round players. They're yeah. they're 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 a, a tight knit, but it's just they just haven't been yeah, getting much continuity within their own game. But yeah. I'd probably agree. I reckon Bayside sneak into that fourth spot, and I actually think. That makes it game of the round. That first final, Ducks have secured first yeah, spot. Be first, yeah. Ducks and, and Bayside, I think, could be a lot closer than what people are anticipating. I hope so. We just need a certain GM to knock a few more shots. Just have uh, a game like you did in Elite. There you go. Buzz a beater coming up. <laughs> hey, hey, you heard it here first. Uh, and then that would probably leave the Matadors and the Penguins. Yeah, in third, uh, second and third for, for that second final. That'll be a cracking game as well, I think. Yeah, will be. But uh, that wraps us up for the domestic competition. We'll be back with the girls comp after this word from our sponsors. Horn Industrial Coatings, official naming sponsor of the South East Super League. A family-run business with over 15 years experience Horn Industrial Coatings specialise in a range of epoxy flooring solutions for both commercial and industrial applications. There's no job too big or too small for Horn Industrial Coatings. If you've got a project at home that needs a flooring solution, reach out to Dean for some expert help with your flooring needs. Be it a workshop at home, a basketball court out in the backyard that needs surfacing, Horn Industrial Coatings have got your floor covered. For more information about Dean's wide range of flooring solutions, visit hornindustrialcoatings.com.au. Proud naming sponsor of the Southeast Super League. And we're back uh, for Southeast Super League TV to discuss the girls' competition. Big Sexy is back yet again. I'm back. And we've got Jill Appleton from the Emerald Bears with us as well. Thanks for joining us. No worries. Thanks for having me. Now we're going to backtrack just a little bit because. We, uh, we had the long weekend and, and elite and domestic didn't play, but the girls did. So we're going to roll it into, into one segment for the last two Ooh. rounds. So Good go. I'm, uh, I'm going to hand it over to you guys somewhat, not, cool. uh, not being there myself. But the first game we had the Kurup Koalas 72 defeating the Tainong Tornadoes 47. Yeah. Koalas bounce back. Big time, um, coming off two losses in a row the previous two weeks. I think they were going in for the kill a little yep. bit and um, just tore tore the tornadoes to shreds. Yeah, and, just watching it and, and looking at the stats, um, looks like it was it was led by their uh, their GM Shannon Patterson, twenty and twenty five. She's now set the new record for most rebounds in a Super League game. That's that's a few. 
That's just a, a little bit. I yeah. mean, the ball was just falling into her hand a little bit. It was That's pretty easy to mag- get mag- in that game. So. Magnetic ball. Yeah. Anyone who was standing in the key was going to get it, and she yeah. was standing in the key most of the time. So. Fantastic. And, and over to... To the Tornadoes, uh, Tyler Scorer looked like she had a cracker as well, 26-11-3. Yeah. Double-double. Put, put up a lot of shots. Oh, yeah. A lot of shots. 30 shots. 30 shot attempts. Um, just Lucky she could shoot some free throws. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really impressive from the free throw line as well. And yeah. It was just kind of all over the place. Even plenty of boards there as well for Tyler. So, yeah. starting for her. About time too. She's... Had a slow yeah. start to the year, so it's good to see her kind of. That's a very undermanned team there as well. A thousand percent, they were. They shout were really, Rhiannon and Paps. Yeah. Yeah, and, and shout out to Steph as well because she finished with 12, 5, 3, and five. Yeah, mm. really, is, really solid game from Steph. Yeah, as well. did really, did really well. Just and yeah, wasn't much they could do really. No. Just up the other end. No, and and one person that could really, really tear Super League open, in my opinion. Uh, is Ali Coots. So she had eight points, six rebounds, five or six, six steals. And yeah. stat yeah. sheet stuff. And yeah. Five turnovers. And five turnovers. Oh, that's another stat. That's really, <laughs> is that a five that's by five? That's, that's a, a five, five by five. five. That's a five yeah. by five. Good job, Ali. Well done. Five by five. Good on her. <laughs> what a stat. Now, um, moving on to the, the second game Ooh, yeah. of the night, we had. Jill's Emerald Bears 58 uh, going down to the Nari Silverbacks 69. Looks Ooh, to that's me. That's a sexy number. <laughs> it is a very <laughs> loving number. Uh, it's good for both teams, I would think. <laughs> looking looking at your list, Jill, it looks like you're a little depleted last um, week. Yeah, especially one name really stands out there is really shouldn't have been playing. So we really only should have had four players. Yeah. I definitely shouldn't have been on the court last week. Yep. Um, and pretty much showed that I wasn't on the court for most of the game. <laughs> so um, a fully strength Silverbacks team versus four for us, severely you've, undermanned. You've and done pretty well. It was a really good effort by our girls. Tanaya and Tilda just all over it, and yep. Amy just doing what she's been doing, pretty yeah. solid. So we were, we were happy with that. We know that we know that when we're on, you can mix it up with it. most. So, yeah, um, not mix it up with most. Most can't mix it with us when we're yeah. on. Yeah. So. Well, if you had Deej in there, yeah, it was she's a different a ball game. Yeah, Tanaya. She's been... just a sweetheart too. Yeah. She's one she's of my like favourite people yeah. in this competition. She's so funny. Yeah, she's a good bird. Yeah. Good chick. Yeah. Is. She's, yeah. A, she's now, a dancer uh, as well. Is she? Dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Just more rounder. Uh, Tanaya finished with 22, 14, and 4. Uh, Tilda Hardy, 20 and oh. 5. What She's a been a revelation game. for the Bears. Hey, yeah. She's Go a gem. Newfound, uh, newfound attitude, losing the braces, feeling yes. pretty confident, rocking Flashing it. those pearly whites. There you go. <laughs> Moving over to the Silverbacks, they just had everybody doing everything, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Bridget Deary was at 20 and 8. Uh, Chloe Mass had a cracking game, had 19 and 8. Yeah. Steph Pell, again, 11 and 14, 9. One assist oh. off a double, a triple double. Oh. I think she was pretty dirty about that, too, in the, the Player of the Week convo. Just why the stats people didn't let her know she was one off. Yeah. yeah I'd, why I'd be why her teammates just kind of, I think they didn't finish very well towards the end of the game. And oh, just kind mate. Of their way a little bit. I would really just be so cherry picking. Let her get a rebound. Trent, like, Trent Lee on. held that record for the closest trip dub for Super League, and, and Steph's taking him over now, but. Still a few oh, games that's, left. That's heartbreaking. It. Yeah. I think she can do it. Yep. She definitely has the capability no, to I'm get a triple double. I'm surprised she hasn't done it yet, to be honest. I think she yeah. probably can step it up. A, it's either her or Ali are going to get the first triple double. At the moment, I'd put it towards Steph. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I think yeah, there's, there's a few that are could, capable could of doing it across all out. Triple dub finals. That'd be, that'd be big time. More, more than... Semi-final, I can see it happening, absolutely. Yeah. With who that will be playing, a thousand percent. Turning it on. Now, uh, moving to this week's girls competition, uh, we move to our iPad as we do every week. <laughs> and the opening game was the Nari Warren Silverbacks again, 53, uh, downing the Tainong Tornadoes, 49. Tainong had an absolutely cracking game. Yeah, they, they did. They, as for, and again, without Rihanna, so mm. a bit stronger team than they had in last week and just, just there again. Yeah. Just wouldn't go away. and. 
Um, Silverbacks are a little bit undermanned this week just with the five players, but um, yeah, Tynon just brought it today, which was good to see. Yeah, yeah. Claire, put up a fight. Claire finishing with 17 points. Um, she was look, really they, strong. They could have. If they played with a little bit of urgency towards the end of the game, oh, they, they could have quite have easily have won that game. We were, we were sitting together on the sideline, just kind of spurring them on and getting a little bit excited when they bring it in, but yeah. then Nari would just say, oh, well, I think if, if, it, if it came to it, I think Nari could push that next year. Yeah. But all it takes is a couple of big shots. Exactly. And uh, from the Silverbacks, a shout out to our mate Teagues Reed. Right. Finishing with 14 points. Hey. She was two from four from the three-point line. Yeah. Just killed it. Yeah. Had an absolutely cracking game. She had game. some good moves. Uh, it was like watching the Teagues of old. It was, it <laughs> it was, was. good to see. Yeah. It was. And I think, you know, it kind of kind of tells you that, you know, anyone can play in this league. You know what I mean? Teagues hasn't played, you know, a, a high up uh, grade of basketball for a little while. It's been predominantly domestic. But, mm. you know, she mixed it up with Claire Pappas and... You know, she was uh, V-cutting with purpose and, at one stage. Yeah. It was outrageous. It was really, really good. Had an absolute cracker. Moving on to our second game, we had the Officer Hornets 41 and the Emerald Bears Jill 74. Back in town. Another solid win. 34, 33 points. It's uh, a yeah. bit of a blowout, unfortunately. Well, it, was, it was pretty tight at halftime. Um, I was actually on the, the score bench for the game and went over to the girls at halftime and Everyone was just kind of like, all right, enough's enough. I think it was 10 points and yeah. no one Turned was happy it on. with that. Yeah. And just let's kind of out. went, all right, let's go into a man and let's just start running the floor and play how we normally play and got through it. So Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, you guys had uh, a lot of a lot of people uh, filling the stats. Uh, T Phillips, again, had a cracker. She had uh, 20, 10, 5 and a few steals and few blocks. Uh, She's doing what she does. Yeah. Kylie Thompson finished with 19. Had so, 11 of our first 15 points. Was absolutely on fire yeah, and all over up. the place. And officer were just like, what is going on? Because yeah. they were mo- mainly focusing on Tanea and, and yeah. Silda. DJ wasn't there at that time. Yeah. So as you normally would put your effort into those two. Yeah. And Kylie was just like, well, I got this today, guys. Yeah. Let's go. She was hot early. Yeah. Lit it up. And, Nailing it. And again, Matilda Hardy, 16 points. She's doing what she does. Just getting it Still done. The she, get, yeah. she gets in all the right spots because they're like you guys just drop some dimes for it. We we play really really great team ball, and that's been one thing that we've been talking about week in week out. We just love yeah. playing together and love playing for each other, and we we know where each other are. We have a really great chemistry, which is coming through, which is great. And you've got a dancer on your team. I know it's great. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Mate, she just flies out of nowhere, yeah. little pocket rocket. Yeah, and she was covered in tape today. She was covered in tape. Yeah, we we're we're pretty decimated at the moment. So to get a, a thirty-plus point win with a, in a state that we're oh, in, it's it pretty comes at a handy time. Absolutely. And she's a dancer. <laughs> she is a dancer. She dances. She's dancing like on a stage. Like, <laughs> fancy dancing. You're a fancy dancer. I've seen it. Oh, it's uh, putrid. Let's be honest. <laughs> anyway, let's let's get the minds out of the gutter there, Braden, and uh, touch on the the Hornets real quick. Uh, Jay Armstrong had a had a great game. She finished with 16 points. Uh, Kira is has been playing for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, she's yep. a solid pick up for them, and I think is still kind of. A little bit offset, having missed the first part of the season, and yep. kind of missed. If she had to play with them from the start, I think it would be a different ball game for them, and they wouldn't be looking at zero eight right now. They'd be looking at at least two, three wins for the year if she had to play from the start. So yeah, yeah for sure. And and like when she she had ten points, but she had six rebounds, six assists. Yeah, that's very close That's to a good trip game, as yeah. well. Yeah. So at, at a had, had a decent game, game in the league too. Yeah, like did really well know, coming in and just producing straight away. Yeah. I think I think that yeah the Hornets have had a really tough season and you know we know yeah, that yeah. you know they're the team that's going to miss out this year for all well, this season for finals um, well, the top four's already sewn up but I guess it just depends on who finishes where but the next couple of weeks is going to be uh, yeah. fairly I think, interesting. I think the the games are set for the finals. I don't think it's going to change around. At you reckon all, to that's be what it is? So that'll be koalas taking on the tornadoes. Oh, I think you'll find. Oh, I think it'll be the Silverbacks. Silverbacks. Find. After the uh, the buy today, I think it would reset back to the Silverbacks on top. And, yep. Um, and then it'll be. And then you'll play the Koalas. You play the Koalas. I think it'll be a, Bears a and Koalas. Week. That's that's a game. That's gonna be it's gonna be a couple of good weeks. I think we actually get the rematch out of the way next week. Yeah. Um, really. And then we play them again the following week in finals. I think is the way it's gonna be. So I'll sit out for another week and then. 
come back Hopefully and get it. back for get, the finals. We'll get back for the first triple double for Super League. That's it. Very good. Righto, guys. Thanks very much for joining me. No worries. And we'll, uh, we'll see you all next week. Yeah.